Hello friends and welcome to my sketchbook tour. This is my first watercolor sketchbook that I've completed and I'm really excited to share it with you. This is from Sketchbook Co Shop which makes these gorgeous sketchbooks out of reclaimed um, books. So this book in particular, the cover was intact but the inside pages were falling out and then they bind this um, watercolor paper and um, basically make it into the book. So absolutely love these sketchbooks and if you have a chance I would definitely recommend getting them. I completed this sketchbook um, in the beginning of January so I'm a little bit late getting to it but you know what better late than never right? So um, I have these goals here that I didn't quite meet. Um, some of the ones about mixed media and gouache I ended up not really focusing on because I got a mixed media sketchbook and so I would rather use that and reserve the sketchbook for watercolor. Um, but I did get better at anatomy, I think, in this sketchbook and I did try to use more intentional color palettes. So I'm proud of myself for doing that. I also think I painted looser. I haven't marked off that uh, goal yet, but I think it's accurate. This is the first page. I painted this piece in about 15 minutes and I do have a video on that one. I'm gonna have videos for a lot of these and I'm not sure that I can fit all of them in the info cards, so I will just put my favorites in the info cards and I'll link all of them in the description. So there you go. Um, I put the swatch card for this over here as well because I ended up um, doing a bit more swatching and for some reason I didn't do it on the page. Um, and then this is another piece that was just Playing around, I don't know, thought it looked pretty. Um, I think the skin tones are quite nice, um, but definitely was experimenting with having this like really intense blush, and I don't know, I'm not sure how I feel about that now. And I'm just covered up some butterflies here. This is a painting of the musician Dodie that isn't really finished, but I kind of like that it's not finished. Um, so there you go, I definitely want to paint Dodie again because I love their music. Um, I actually got to see them on tour a couple weeks ago, which was super fun. These are some thumbnails for other paintings. So this thumbnailing process turned into this acrylic painting. Uh, you'll see this little painting thumbnail on the next page. And this is a thumbnail for my painting Cascade, which I do have a video for. And you can see it, the finished painting here. So, this um, is the final product of this little thumbnail. Um, didn't end up writing on the body because I just didn't feel like it, but I made this spread when I was feeling not fantastic about my own body, and so I figured I would paint some people that, um, you know, don't look like your typical supermodel. So there, there you go. Um, I really love this one, especially. Um, I just love how like moody it is. And um, yeah, I just overall, I think this is my favorite painting of these three. The uh, gold on both of these paintings is Windsor Newton gouache. I don't have like a specific gold color. I just mixed it myself. Videos for both of these onward. This is another limited palette painting um, using carmine and cadmium yellow medium and those are both from the White Knight set. I like how this one turned out. Um, it was a bit of a risk to add these like florals on top, but I think it makes it interesting, so there you go. This is a thumbnail for, or not really a thumbnail, but like a sketch, I suppose, for this piece here. Um, I was really trying to figure out like this glowing effect that I knew I wanted to have, so I wasn't really paying attention to the face, which is why it's kind of kind of strange looking. Um, I don't really treat my sketchbooks like a place for finished works necessarily. I just try to like play around with them and experiment and not have the pressure of like, okay, you're working on a big piece and if you screw up this part, then the whole piece is going to look funky and this is expensive paper and paint and all that. So there you go. These are more little studies for uh, that same piece, just trying to nail down that glowing effect. I didn't quite get it here, but we're getting closer. This is a painting of a sunset that 
I thought was really gorgeous and I couldn't quite capture it with my phone so I decided to make it a live painting exercise and I remember just like kneeling on my bed with my painting stuff on the windowsill so that I could finish this painting um, and you know I think it looks really cool it doesn't quite look like the sunset did but I feel like it captures a lot of the feeling of that sunset and it was a really interesting exercise to paint something while it's changing this is another limited palette, I believe, um, but a relatively limited piece. And I, I think there's a video for this one. I feel like I recorded it, but I don't really remember. Um, kind of turned out looking like Mr. Darcy from the 2005 Pride and Prejudice. Um, not quite as handsome, but there you go. That just, it just makes me think of that. These are more little studies trying to nail down that glowing effect, and with this one, I feel like I really got it. Um, these are from another video that was a random color challenge video, so I like randomly generated uh, these two colors from my White Knights palette. Had to use just those colors, so I kind of experimented on this page, and then this is what the final painting looks like. This is a review of common watercolors, which I used back when I was first starting watercolors, and then I bought a set of White Knights um, because the common watercolors were just really frustrating me. But I decided to come back to them as somebody who's more experienced, definitely not a professional yet, but you know, more experienced, and um, yeah, I just uh, wanted to see how I felt about them, and you can hear all my thoughts in that video if you're interested. This is another painting from life that I did at a lake by my house. The water looks a little funky because as I was painting, the sun was setting and so these trees were casting this shadow over the water so the colors were changing quite quickly and I couldn't quite get them down. Um, but I, overall I think it's pretty cool and um, you know captures the overall like mood of the scene. This is from a review of the Pelican watercolors. Um, that I don't have anymore, gave them to my sister, but I did a review, yay! <laughs> um, and you can check that out if you're interested. This is probably my favorite spread. Might be tied with the, um, body spread, but I, I like both these pieces. I think they look really nice together, and they helped me to figure out a lot of what I like, um, when painting hair. I think this one's probably my favorite, um, and I really love that it has, like, these this more realistic shading but obviously it's not like really realistic realistic but it's not like cell shading so kind of finding a happy medium between that and finding that I really like these thicker lines um, representing you know like sections of the hair within the bigger sections if that makes sense I haven't really done a big piece um, since these where I've gotten to kind of implement that but I definitely like the look. This is a draw this in your style. I don't remember whose it is. I never posted it because I wasn't really happy with the contrast on the skin tones. Uh, the one thing I will say about this paper, I think it's the Fabriano Studio paper, but you'd have to look at the Sketchbook Coast website to confirm that. Um, it's that it doesn't really allow for a ton of layers, so it's really nice for like wet on wet stuff and quick um, studies, which is honestly great for a sketchbook and you know, keeps me from like making everything a big finished piece and putting all that pressure on it. But it also means that when I wanted to kind of slowly layer up here, I was really struggling. This is all studies for this piece upstream that I finished um, in January. And yeah, just a bunch of different concepts playing around with this like flaming fish idea. And I really like how this one looked, um, and I kind of want to experiment with like having those looser elements in a more finished painting, because I feel like I haven't really gotten a chance to do that. Um, and I will probably come back to some of these concepts, because as you can see, none of these really look like the final painting, which looks more like this um, concept. Originally I was going for like an oil spill kind of thing, which is why I had the flame on her head, and then I sketched it out. And there just wasn't really room for the flame and it was just kind of distracting so i ended up continuing the fish over her head and that worked better here i'm testing out some skin tone mixing with my daniel smith paints i got a set of i think six for christmas this year so i just wanted to play around with those 
This is a Draw This In Your Style that I also never posted because I missed the deadline for the end of that competition. Um, but, and also I wasn't like super happy with it, but you know, I feel like looking back at it now, I'm more happy with it. I feel like the ba the background could have more contrast with these birds, but other than that, I like it. Uh, I'll try to find the name and put it up here. These are more studies for upstream, um, just testing out gold. I really like how this one turned out because it has that more like aged gold feel instead of like the shiny new gold. Um, but I couldn't really replicate that on the final painting because I, I didn't write down any notes. Uh, so, you know, maybe I'll come back to that. But basically I was experimenting with like having these like warmer undertones for gold versus the more green undertones for gold um, and those different looks. This was a test of kind of pushing my knowledge of layering watercolor and trying to make a smooth, like realistic watercolor. And it's not the most realistic thing ever, but I feel like it looks pretty dang good for my first real attempt. This is the last page I was experimenting with just some more portrait studies that had more to do with lighting. Ignore this one. I don't like it. I don't, I didn't know how to fix it and I tried to like stylize a sketch and it didn't really work. So there you go. Um, but I really love this one, like the purple shadows and then going into this like warmer red and then the yellow. I think it looks really gorgeous and I kind of want to make a painting that has more of uh, those like highlight shadow patterns. So, and also I love this teal color, it's so pretty. This is another one that I think is decent for what it is. Um, and yeah, that's the end of my sketchbook. So there you are. This is a gorgeous book. Um, if you have a chance, definitely check out Sketchbook Co. Um, if you are a book nerd and also like to paint. Um, I think they also have some now that are like drawing paper if that interests you. So definitely check them out. Um, also, if you want to check out my other sketchbook tour that I've done, I think it was about a year ago, and see how much I've improved since then, it's right over here somewhere. Um, yeah, so there you go. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.